Hi everyone, this video to show you how to combine two radiation pattern polar plot into a polar graph. Okay, so you can see this one is at 5 equal to 90 degree, the elevation plan and the theta 90 degree as a mute plan. So we can combine two radiation pattern in one graph. Okay, so how are we going to combine this? I will show you. So let's go back to some theory. So let's say we have a dipole antenna here. And then this is the 3D radiation pattern. We have like azimuth and the elevation. So we can combine this into one graph showing like this. Okay. So let's go to the CST. So this is the simulation. Okay. Uh, this is the dipole antenna here. Okay. So this is the far field. Okay. This is far field. How it looks like. And if we cut it half, something like this. Okay. Elevation. So you can see something like this. Okay, so you will have a like a number eight here. Okay, so let's go back. So we're going to make it like 2D. So we can just choose like uh, 1D polar here, we just apply. So this is a uh, theta is a step and 90 degree. So 90 degree of the phi is fixed. So once you have this, then you just go and process, post process and export the result, then plot data. Okay, so let's say is 590. Okay, so 590, we may like one here. Okay, then we go for another one. The azimuth plan then is like theta. So you can see it's like a circle here. Okay, so same as the theory here, azimuth for dipole. So we just go here and we just go for the post processing, export, ASCII, then theta. Okay, so one has. One you have saved the data, you have export it. So you will combine the graph something like this. Okay, in sigma plot. So how you're going to do that? You have a data like here, the theta. Okay, so you have the theta here. You can see the theta is fixed 90 degree and the phi is changing by the step until 359 because we have like zero degree on the top. So it's total up is 360. So you can see the value for the gain is the same. Now we are using the gain is in linear because you can see here we are on linear. So you can see from here it's like all the value for the gain is the same. That's why you will have a circle like this. Okay, that means you will plot something like this. Okay, once you have this data, you can copy all of the data to Excel. So something like this, let's delete this first. Okay, then we can copy this one to the Excel. So let's say we have the data Excel like this. So this is uh, the data that I get actually. So I can show you how to do this. So we can just like paste it, but using the wizard here. So we need to have like each column. So next, finish. So we're going to collect this data because this one is the gain, okay, because it's the third column. You can see from here it's like uh, the third column here is data, is, is the gain and this is the degree. Okay, so we will copy this one and we will paste it here. So this is 90 degree data and this is the result. So we will do the same for the phi here. So this is the phi. So we can just copy it. You can see it's like 3.214. And then here is like 5 is 90 degrees. So we will use the theta. So you can see the result here is 3.921. Okay, once we have all of this, right, we just copy. The angle is until. three hundred fifty nine. So we can delete this one. Okay, so control A, copy, and then we can put in the sigma plot here. Let me create another one. A new worksheet. Okay, let's control new worksheet here. Okay, so this is uh, empty data. We just copy paste. Okay, here we have the angle, and here is the phi equal to 90 and the theta equal to 90. Okay, so Let's plot it. New graph page create yes and polar. Just choose polar and click next and then scatter and line. 
Okay, so then this degree, right, you will show is like clockwise or anti-clockwise. That means if you anti-clockwise, it will be like anti-clockwise. That means, right, here will be 0 until 360. Or if you untick this one, you are starting 0 here. The clockwise will be 90 and until 360 here. Okay, so we click on clockwise. Then click next. We need to choose like theta actually is the degree here. And the R is the data. Okay, so we choose next. Okay, the theta should be first column here. Okay, because it's the angle until 360. Yeah, somewhere here, 359. And then the second column is should be the R data will be the phi equal to 90. Okay, and the phi theta equal to 90. Okay, then we click on finish. So you have a graph like this. Okay, how to make it? something like this okay we go step by step so first you need to double click on the graph you go to scaling okay because the data here is scaling here okay is 1.63 the maximum so we can make it like 2 so we can like add some space here okay so you can see like 2 here and we can go for the symbol actually this all of this is a symbol we can make it like none symbol okay and we show line you can choose the line with different colors so you can see the line with different colors here and doing like incrementing and then the thickness of the line so there it is okay so now we're done okay then after that we choose for the legion okay we can change the name like phi equal to 90 and theta equal to 90 okay so just like this to plot your graph for combine the two radiation pattern so let's say i change this you can see now it's like 0 90 180 270 okay until 360 here so you can see it's actually same as the cst data that we combine Okay, but if you want to change to anti-clockwise, you can just like, you can just control C, then control V, copy another graph here. Okay, we can just right click and modify the plot. And we choose like clockwise. So we next, then we finish. So you can see the graph is opposite. It's like 0, 90, 180, 270. So this is the difference between like clockwise and anti-clockwise, but the result is the same because just the label is different. Okay, so that's all for how to combine two radiation pattern graph in the polar form. Okay, thank you.